Good morning, guys. It is Thursday, February 20th. And you guys picked Super Solvers. My husband was very excited to learn that that would be the one that I would be picking because he is obsessed with Super Solvers. So, let's snap to it. Five robotic paintbrushes, now pay attention! We're here at the Shady Glen School for one purpose. To make the school disappear! My spies tell me that pesky super solver may try to stop me and save the school. To avoid being caught, I'll hide inside one of you. If I can stay hidden until midnight, we'll have enough time to prepare the disappearing paint to use on the school. The Super Solver will try to find me by taking pictures of you and comparing them with clues I've hidden throughout the school. Why you can distract you the Super Solver by I throwing your... Hey! Who did that? Okay, mischief makers, remember! We only have to keep the Super Solver busy until midnight. Then we can make the school disappear. Now, let's get out there and be Why on you guard. Moves? That just seems insanely arrogant. All right, there I am. Start game. As a trainee, I don't you will care. see new. <laughs> Very good. You've just taken a picture of a so you start at one end. To flip over a robot, press the up and right arrow together, or the up and left. Look for the envelopes that mark. Take your time. The clock is paused while you are reading a passage. All right. To move through the reading, click on the page down button. Science was so... Oh, so May 4th, 1962. Dear Diary, science was so fun today. Blah, blah, blah. Mr. Sheldon talked about one of my favorite things. Bugs, listen. Fact one, the sparks of light that you see on a summer night are really the signal... Are really signals from the fireflies in the air to the fireflies on the ground. Fact two, a monarch butterfly migrates. It flies more than 1,000 miles to reach its winter home in Mexico. Then it flies back north for the summer. It's called a monarch because it's so big and beautiful. It's like the king or queen of the butterflies. Fact three... Honeybees visit over a quarter of a million flowers to make one pound of honey. Phew, I'm tired and thirsty just thinking about it. Bug hugs, Morty. Some bugs do give signals. They like to take flight at night. Name the kind of bug that does this thing all right. I think it was the firefly. Good job! You have collected a crew to help you win the game! Back to the school. The reading clue you've just found has been placed in your notes. When you want to see the clues right, and... Let's get notes. What did I get? I have pictures of... Your notes include a checklist. Oh, okay. So, let's look at the clues. Firefly. So he should be having a firefly in his hand? Okay. I'm gonna not decide yet. Push from the story of Doctor Doolittle by Hugh Lofting. Push me pull yous are now extinct. That means there aren't any any there aren't any more. But long ago, when Dr. Doolittle was alive, there were some of them still left in the deepest jungles of Africa. And even then, they were very, very scarce. They had no tail, 
but a head at each end and sharp horns on each head. They were very shy and terribly hard to catch. The hunters get most of their animals by sneaking up behind them while they are not looking. But you could not do this with the push me pull you because no matter which way you came towards him, he was always facing you. And besides, only one half of him slept at a time. The other head was always awake and watching. This is this was why they were never caught and never seen in zoos. The push me pull you's had two heads, which let them see much more. What did they have upon their heads? Yes, that's the clue to score. I think it was horns. Yes. That's correct. You have collected a clue to help you win the game. Alright. Clues. You don't have either, so I'm gonna say no. Uh, no. That is a firefly and that is horn, so maybe. Alright. Mystery, Shady Glen, January 5th, 1989. A local bakery had some excitement yesterday after a strange early morning discovery. Owner Francine de Leon reported that all her baked goods had been changed in unusual ways. The cream puffs were filled with mushrooms, she said, and the French bread had made in Florida stamped all over it. I am completely puzzled. Police have been unable to identify the person or thing responsible. They are currently looking for clues. Even the fingerprints here have been strange, said Officer Jed Taylor. So far, the only prints you've been able to identify have belonged to a monkey and a flock of geese. Mrs. DeLeon didn't lose any money, though, because people were excited about trying some new foods. Maybe I'll try adding these items to our menu, she said. I think the word's going to be fingerprints. Yes, the police were looking for clues at the bakery shop. Tell me what they found there, and then your clues on top. Good awesome. job! You have collected a clue to help you win the game! School! Alright, let's my notes. So we have a picture of everyone. We have three of the clues. So you have fingerprints, but no. Okay. Mm, yeah, it's a necklace, so I'm gonna say no. No. That's possible. No. So I guess it's Rolo. Usually you'd have to run through the entire school and collect clues and try and get pictures. I got really lucky with pictures really early on. So um, also later on, um, you need to take multiple pictures of each robot in order for all the stuff to show up. So this is a pretty easy run through. Let's decide. Yes. Are you sure you want to accuse Rope? Yes. I accuse you of being the master of mischief. You're right! You found me! total of 30,000 points to move up in rank from junior to senior. That's it guys. That's the game. <laughs> this game's really short. Uh, exit. Yes. So that is it for uh, super solvers. So there you go. Nice little trip down memory lane. So that's this one done. Now I have to figure out what I'm going to do for you guys. Um, okay. Hmm. Hmm. I sh meant to have this figured out, but that didn't happen. That's not gonna work. Okay. Let's see here. You are music. That will not help you. That will not help me. Okay. Uh, what are you? You are also music. You are also music. You are not. I don't remember you, though. Oh, 
Oh, this one. Eh, what year did you come up? 2001. Okay. No, here, tell you what. We will do these two, I think, this time. Okay, so your choices for tomorrow are Amazon Trail. This came out in 97, so I'm. if you guys pick it, I hope it works. And Operation Neptune. It's upside down here. Operation Neptune is the other one. This came with my Clue Finders game. Um, at the time when you bought the... When my mom got me Clue Finders and the Super Solvers, they each came with an extra one. This is the one that came with Clue Finders. And uh, the other one I'll put up tomorrow. Um, it's another Super Solvers one. Um, but yeah, so your options are Operation Neptune, which is a math one, or Amazon Trail, which plays like Oregon Trail, but you do it in uh, the Amazon. Among the, in the You save the Inca people by finding the tropical cure in the lush rainforest of the Amazon. Um, I suck at these kind of games, so this should be really interesting. But yes, those are your two choices. So leave your pick in the comments down below. Also, thank you for three votes. That's exciting. Um, let's try and get it up to five. Five? Let's do odd. I'm hoping for odd numbers. I don't want to have to flip a coin, but what will happen is I'll just call up someone in my family and say, remember I used to play these games? Yeah, pick one. So, anywho, that's what's going to happen. This is a, a relatively short video today, but that's okay. I'm sure you guys have better things to do with your life. Anywho, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a